Boker Tov Kal Kadosh, we're going to continue with Dafkuf Lamid Zayin, 137A1. We are at the Mishnah, where the Mishnah says as follows. Misha Yulo Shneti Nukot. If somebody had two ch- children, Echad Lamul Achar Shabbat, Echad Lamul Beshabbat. One of them had to be done, Brit Milah, or after Shabbat, which means, right, meaning that, let's say he was born on Motzei Shabbat, okay, so therefore you have to do it on Motzei Shabbat on uh, the next, or basically the next Sunday. And one of them had to do it on Shabbat. You forgot, and you did the wrong one. So you're going to be chayav because of Chilul Shabbat, which means that even though you were busy doing a mitzvah, right, but you made a mistake and you didn't do the mitzvah, so since you didn't do the mitzvah, you were mechalel Shabbat, so you have to bring a chatat, a sin offering. If one was for Erev Shabbat, one was for Shabbat, one was for Shabbat, and you forgot, and you did one on Erev Shabbat on Shabbat, Rabbi Yezer says you're going to be Chayav Chatat as well. Why? Because this was the ninth day of the Mila. And therefore, again, since it wasn't a mitzvah, so now that's it. You have to do, you have to bring a Chatat. Rabbi Yeshua says you're going to be Patur. Why? Well, since you made a mistake in Edvar Mitzvah, right? So therefore, but you did do a mitzvah bekach, you did do a mitzvah, meaning that if you did a bring Mila before that eighth day, so it's not a mitzvah. Here you did it on the ninth day. So it was a mitzvah. So even though it shouldn't have pushed off the Chathila Shabbat, but you still get a mitzvah and therefore you're going to be patur. Says the Gemara, Rav Huda Matni Chayav, Rav Yehuda Matni Patur. Okay? So it says over here, Rav Yehuda had the girsa that really meant if a person made a mistake and he did the Brimila on Shabbat, right? For the one of the after Shabbat. So since he didn't do the mitzvah, he's going to be chayav. And Rav Yehuda was the one that said that it was going to be patur. So Rav Huna matni chayav. Rav Huna comes and he says, you're going to be chayav. The Tanya was learned in Abraita. Amar v'yishimo men lazar says, v'yishimo men lazar, lo nechleku Rav Yehuda v'yishimo men lazar, lo nechleku Rav Yehuda v'yishimo men lazar, lo nechleku Rav Yehuda v'yishimo There's no machloke between Rav Yehuda and Rav Yehuda on somebody that has two children, right, two tinukot. So he says, echad, one of them, lamun b'shabbat, to do b'yimila on Shabbat, one of them to do Brimila after the Shabbat. Vishachach, and a person forgot. Right? Umalet Shelachar Shabbat Shabbat. He did one on Sunday for on Shabbat itself, but he's going to be Chayab. So what is the Machloket? Al Misha Yulo Shneti no Kodav, a person had two children, one of them to do on Erev Shabbat, one of them to do on Shabbat, and he forgot and he did the one on Erev Shabbat on Shabbat. Zabili says you're going to be Chayab, Rabbi Yushua says you're going to be Patur. Okay? Just like the Gisavar Mishnah. So it says the Gemara, Ushnehem lo lamdu ala Avodah Kochavim. They both learned it from Avodah Kochavim. Why? It says over here, how did they learn it from Avodah Kochavim? It says, Rabbi Eliezer Savar, Rabbi Eliezer says, it's just like Avodah Zarah. Ma Avodah Kochavim, just like by Avodah Zarah, it's written, Amrachmana, the Torah says, Lo ta'avid, do not do Avodah Zarah. Vechiyavim mechayev, and if you do it, you're going to be chayav, which means it's a lo ta'ase. And if you did it, you're going to be chayav chatat. So to here, you did the Avera. At the end of the day, there's no, there's no difference whether you made a mistake or not made a mistake. You did it. You have to bring a Chatat. Rabbi Yoshua Savab, Rabbi Yoshua holds, Hatam Dela Mitzvah. There, if you didn't do it, it's not Mitzvah. If you're just not serving, there's no, there's no Mitzvah. Here, there's a Mitzvah. So therefore, you can compare both cases. Okay? Next, Rabbi Yehuda Matzni Patur. Rabbi Yehuda says it's going to be Patur. The Tanya was going to the right. Amar Rabbi Meir says Rabbi Meir, "Lo nechlekur Rabbi Yisrael Rabbi Yeshua, am nishayul shnin tinokot." There's no machlok between Rabbi Yisrael Rabbi Yeshua on somebody that had two tinokot. Echalamu berev Shabbat, echalamu Shabbat. One of them on erev Shabbat, one of them Shabbat. And he forgot, and he did the one of erev Shabbat on Shabbat. He's going to be patur. What is the machloket on somebody that had two tinokot? One to do on Sunday, one to do on Shabbat. And he forgot, and he did the one on Sunday on Shabbat itself. Rabbi Yisrael says you're going to be chayav chatat, right? And Rabbi Yeshua says you're going to be patur. And again, both of them learned it from Avodah Kochavim. Rabbi Yezer holds that it's like Avodah Zarah, just like Avodah Zarah says, Lo Tavid, you're not supposed to do it, and if you did do it, you're going to be Chayav, so to you there's no difference. Rabbi Yeshua says, no, over there you're not doing a mitzvah, here you're doing a mitzvah, and therefore you're going to be patur. So again, both, again, both of them, we both learn that in both cases you have, okay, the machloket here between Rabbi Yehuda Okay, and Rav Huna. One of them says you're going to be patu, one of them says you're going to be chayav. Right, or you have here Rabbi Yezer and Rabbi Yoshua. Right, one of them says you're going to be chayav, one of them says you're going to be patu. 
But the machloke between them is, do we say that it's two children that you had on Erev Shabbat and Shabbat, or on Shabbat and Sunday, and then you got confused. And then the other one holds it's l'chul al according to everybody. Okay? Bye. Tani Rabbi Chia. So Rabbi Chia taught, Omer Ayah Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Meir used to say, Lo nechleku Rabbi Yezer Yeshua al Misha, right? Rabbi Yezer Yeshua do not argue on somebody that had two children, one of them to do on Erev Shabbat, one of them to do on Shabbat, and you forgot and you did the Erev Shabbat on Shabbat, he's going to be chayav. So what is the machloket? Somebody had two children, one to do it on Sunday, one to do it on Shabbat. You forgot, and you did the one on Sunday on Shabbat. Rabbi Yezer says you're going to be chayav, and Rabbi Yeshua says you're going to be patu. Okay, so if you made a mistake, according to everybody, you're going to be chayav chatat, and the machloket is when you didn't do the mitzvah. So says the Gemara, Hashtar of Yoshua Seifa de lo kavi mitzvah poter. If in the Seifa where you didn't do a mitzvah, you're still going to be patur. Reisha de kavi mitzvah and the Reisha that you're doing a mitzvah, mechayev. How could it be according to the Svara that he's going to be mechayev? Which means if you did it, right? If you were doing, that's what he says. If you didn't do a mitzvah and you're still going to be patur, where you did do a mitzvah, you're going to be chayav. Does not make sense? At the end of the day, if you did the one on Sunday, right? The one on on Sunday, on Shabbat, you didn't do a mitzvah. Why? Because remember, you did the bimila too early. You did it one day earlier. There's no mitzvah. But if you did the one on Erev Shabbat, on Shabbat, you did do a mitzvah. Even though it was a mistake, but you did do a mitzvah. Because it was supposed to be done a bimila. So how could it be? So says the Gemara, Hashta Rabbi Yoshua, Seifa, the Lokavi Mitzvah, Pater, Eish Lokavi Mitzvah, Mechayev. How could that be? So I'm ready to Rabbi Yana. Rabbi Yana, I taught, no. Reisha is kegon shekadam umal shel Shabbat berev Shabbat. They lo nitzna Shabbat lidachot. Says the Reisha was talking about where you came and you did the brim milah on, on the baby of the Shabbat baby. You did it on him on Friday. So therefore, what happened was umal be'erev Shabbat, the one of Shabbat. And afterwards on Shabbat, you did the one that was supposed to be erev Shabbat. And that's why you're going to be chayav chatat. They lo nitzna Shabbat lidachot because for him, you cannot push off the Shabbat. Seifa is talking about you could push it off. Why? But since you didn't do this Brit Mila, which is Mano Shabbat, and you're busy doing a mitzvah, so for since you're busy doing a mitzvah, you're going to be patur, even though you didn't do the Mila. So Amale Ravashi Levkana Reishanami Nitna Shabbat Lidechol Gabetino Kodalma. Also in the Reisha, you should push off the Shabbat for other babies. So he says, no, the high Gavra for this person, though, at the end of the day, you weren't supposed to push it off. So for, since you weren't supposed to push it off for this person, because he doesn't have a tinok, right? He doesn't have a child that has to do brimila today. So he's not to do the mitzvah, so that's why he's still going to be chayav. Which means, if you already made the mistake and you did the brimila on, on Friday, the one that you were supposed to do on Shabbat, now on Shabbat, you don't have a eted, you don't have a permission to do the brimila. So since you don't have the permission to do brimila, if you're going to do brimila now, you're not to the mitzvah, you're not busy doing the mitzvah, you're not supposed to be doing any mitzvah now. You already lost the mitzvah. Okay? Next Mishnah. This is the second Mishnah on the page. Today we're lucky. We have three Mishnah out on the page. Okay, so the second Mishnah. Kuflam Zayna Mudalif. Katan nimol lishmona letisha pela asara ulachad asar lishne masar. Lo pacho velo yoter. It sounds like Migila. Yeah? So a child can be done brit mila on the 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th. Lo pachot velo yoter. Not less than that. Not, not earlier than the 8th. Not more than the 12th. Ha keitzad. How is this? So kidar if it's normal, it's eight days. No la le benashmashot. If it was born on benashmashot, so then it's, it's nimol letisha. It's going to be nine days. Right? Why? Because benashmashot twilight, we don't know if it's day or night time. So if you do it the next day. Benashmashot erev Shabbat is going to be on the 10th. Right? Which is basically Sunday. Because if it was Ben Hashoshot Erev Shabbat, so then the question is, is maybe the Shabbat is the ninth, but then Sunday is the tenth, so you would have to do it on the tenth. Yom Tov Lachar Shabbat, if it's going to be Sunday, it's going to be Yom Tov, so then it's going to be Nimol Lachar it's going to do on the eleventh. And if it's two days of Rosh Hashanah, it's going to be on the twelfth, which means this baby was born on Ben Hashoshot Erev Shabbat. So which is the, 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 the next Erev Shabbat, uh, Shabbat is going to be eight days. But now, since you can't do it on Shabbat, which is the ninth, you do it on the tenth, with it, which is Sunday. If Sunday is Yom Tov, so then you would have to push it up to Monday, which is the eleventh. 
But if, if the, the 11th is also Yom Tov, it's the two days of Rosh Hashanah, so then you would do it on the 12th. Okay? Katan chole in molino tot shavri. If the katan is chole, if the katan is sick, so you don't do him the bimilan until he becomes cured. Again, this is because of pikoch nefesh. We don't, don't want to put the baby in danger. So says the Gemara, Amar Shmuel Shmuel says, Chalatzto chama. If right now nitrapar, and then again he get, becomes, he has fever, you wait seven days, which means if a baby's going to come and he's going to have a high fever, you're going to have to wait seven days until he becomes healthy again. And then you do the brimila. Okay? We ask the question, you need let? We're going to learn the tiny luda, right, that we learned. Yom Avraatok Yom Ivalado. The day the Tinok of the was Chole is going to be considered Yom Ivalado, like the day that he was born. What does that mean? I mean, just like we wait until the eighth day, so too we should wait until the eighth day. My love, my love, just like over there, Lo you don't need 24 hours, so too here, we don't need 24 hours. So it's going to know, Adif Yom Avraatok Yom Ivalado, it's better. Because Yom Ivalado, you don't need even that. Here you need Metlet. This, by the way, if you remember, this happened to me. When my son Ilel was born, so he was put in the incubator and he had a whole bunch of medicines and everything. So when, when uh, he became cured, that's when we started, when he got off the medicine and became cured, that's when we started counting the seven days. Now, seven days, though, you need met let. So the seven days met let, I think, finished at 4.30 in the afternoon on Monday, but it was a few days after the, 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 the real day of the breed. So that Monday afternoon, I think it was at five o'clock, that's when we did the brimila. Because you have to wait seven days at the exact same time that he became cured. So if he was cured at 4.30, it's 4.30. 5, 5, 6, 6, 10, 10, whatever time it is. Obviously, you don't do brimila at night time, right? but uh, that's just halacha. Fine. Says the next Mishnah. The last Mishnah, second last line, Kuflam Zermud These are tzitzin, which are mekvinu to milah. Remember, tzitzin are the little tiny pieces of flesh which they actually impede the kashrut of the brit milah. So it says here, Elohim tzitzim ikvinu to milah, basar hochofet rov atara, any type of flesh which is covering the majority of the crown. The crown we're talking about on top of the brit milah. So the majority right over there. Deno ochel bitruma, and he does not eat truma, which means that if you have these, if a person has this tzitzin and he's a kohen, he cannot eat truma. Vimaya bal basar, and if he was a balbasar, okay, here means that means if he, he was a balbasar, meaning that he's very, very fat, a child, all right? So, so you fix it because of maritime, which means that it could be bemet that the brit milah is done properly. But because he's so, he's chubby, so it, it looks that it's not. So because of that, he has to fix it because of maritime. Okay? If a person did brimila, but he did not do priya. Remember, priya is after you cut, which is the, the, the mila, you take with the two nails and you tear the skin and you push it downwards. And then that's going to connect with the bottom part. So the top part, the thinner skin on the, on the inside, connects to the bottom part. But it says it's kilo, you didn't do a brimila. So it says the gemara, ah, we finished the perek. Amar bi Yavina, Mervium Yav Rabba Marav. Says Rabbi Yavina, name Mervium Yav Rabba, name Rab. Basar Chovet Rova Gova Shel Atara. We're talking about the basar which is covering the majority of the Gova of the height of the Atara. So it doesn't have to be the entire circumference, even if it's going to be on one part, which is covering that part. Bima Yabal Basar, if he was very chubby, Mashmuel Shmuel says Katan Mitzubar Be Basar. We're talking about that he's very very fat. It says, we have to check all the time that it becomes heard. If, we're, if he looks that he has the brit milah, then fine. Okay? But if not, that means when he becomes hard, right, the organ becomes hard, then it doesn't look like he has a brit milah, he has to do a second brit milah. We learned in a bright time. What's the difference? It sounds the exact same thing. And here it says, it's just saying the opposite way around. But it's the same thing. 
My benayu ke benayu. The question is nina veno nida. Like you know, it looks and it doesn't look. Meaning like this, right? Basically, the first shita was we look at it when it gets hard. Does he? It, does it look like a brimila? Yes or not? If it looks like he has a brimila, you don't have to do it again. If it doesn't, you have to do another breed. The second one says when it gets hard and it doesn't look like he has a brimila, so you have to do a brimila. And if it does, if it does look, then you don't need to. So what's the difference? So saying the same thing. He says no. If it's borderline. Because according to the first one, right, it's, it's borderline, you do need to do a brimila. According to the second line, the second one, you don't need to do a brimila if it's borderline. Okay? Mal velo para. What happens if you did brimila, but you didn't do priya? Priya, again, remember, is tearing it and putting it down. So, Tanur, when we learned to the right, Hamal Omer, the one that does brimila, says, Ashik Shabbat 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 the father of the son, says, Ashik Shabbat 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 Okay, how many the people that are there, they say, Keshem Shabbat Shabbat and the one that's making the blessing says, Asher Kidesh, or here says Asher Kidash. He says Asher Kidesh. Kidash is Dimi Betin. Chok Mishel Osam, right, that he gave the Chok, which is a Brit Mila, that Tzetzav Chatam Beot Brit Kodesh, and the children of Yitzchak Avinu, he signed for the Brit Kodesh. Alkem Bishar Zot, and because of this reward, El Chayach Hakenu Tzavel Atzil to do the Shemim Mishachat, you should save us from the Shachat from Geinam. The Man be Vitosh or something. But it's an animal in order for the breed that he placed in the flesh. Ruch Adar Shem Koreta Berit. That's the Berachah that we say. Malat Genim Omer. If you're going to do Brit Milah for a Ger, you say Ruch Adar Shem Ha Shem 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 but then it says, Right? So he says, that he says that he says that he says that 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 but it was incredible that they went and they didn't do tachanunim. So one of the balabatim there, he got upset and he goes to the rabbi, I don't understand. Right? When you do bring me that for a ger, there's a bracha? Right? Why wouldn't you do tachanunim? So the rabbi answered him, there's a special bracha for a uh, milah a ger. We just read it. A special bracha for the milah of the ger. So, but you also make the bracha of the milah, which means that the sfara would say, I mean, the logic would say that you don't do tachanunim. I never actually looked it up, the actual halacha in itself, but now that we just mentioned it, I remember that the rabbi brought a proof from here, right? That the fact that you do say a special bracha for the gerim, so you shouldn't say tachanunim on a day on the, on the, on the day of the thing, of the, of the, bring me love, the ger. And there, the ger, I don't even think was in the Beit Knesset. It was the sandak of the ger. And the ger was actually an older man. So the sandak just holds the guy's head. Yeah, it was very interesting. Fine. Okay. Amal etavadim. Okay, if somebody's going to do brimila to an evet, to a slave, he says, Hashem Rishon Mitzvah Nala Mila, and Varech Omer, Hashem Rishon Mitzvah Nala Mula Tavadim, Varatim Demem Dambrit, to do, to take out Dambrit. Hashem Rishon Mitzvah Nala Mila, if it wasn't Dambrit, Chukka Shabbat Yom Arisot, Kaimu Shinemar, Mila Uriyotim, 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 Mila Uri so we finish the chapter of Rabbi Yezir the Milah. We're continuing. Rabbi Yezir Omer, Rabbi Yezir says, next chapter is chapter 20. Okay? Chapter 20 says, Rabbi Yezir Omer, Rabbi Yezir says, You're allowed to hang up a mishameret miyom tov. Remember, mishameret is like a sieve, where they, they put the sediment of the wine inside, and the wine goes down, and the sediment stays on the top. But not on Shabbat. So you can do that on Yom Tov, not on Shabbat. But you're allowed to put it inside of a tuya on Shabbat. That means if it's already hung, you could pour it in on Shabbat. Chachamim say, no, and told in Tomish Bim Tov, and in Tomish Bim You cannot hang it up on Yom Tov, Koshiken on non on Shabbat, and you're not allowed to put it into on Shabbat, but you are allowed to put it on Yom Tov. So says the Gemara, Hashta Rabbi Yezer, Asufa Walaray Lom Safina, Lemeva Lechatila Shari. So I don't understand you. According, you're not allowed to even add on an oil array. And you're not allowed to add on on, an, on a temporary tent on Yom Tov. You're allowed to make one the chatzila, but this is making like a tent. You're putting up a sieve, you're hanging it up, and you're making like a tent underneath. So says the Gemara, Mayhi, what exactly is the question? So now as we learned in the Mishnah, 
right? This is talking about the Pekach HaChalon. Pekach HaChalon is like the window. You remember to place it inside of the window. Let me just see if I have a picture. Yeah, look. This is Tolinet on Shamerit. Okay. Uh, sorry, this is the Tolinet on Shamerit over here. Sorry, wrong place. I think it was on the wrong place. This is the one that you could put it in in the Khatrila. This is the Pkaka Chalon. The, I don't know, you want to call it like the sunroof or. Okay. So says the Gemara, right? Kaka Chalon, right? Rabbi Yezer Rabbi Yezer says, "Bizman shekashur." If it's going to be tied to a knot, like it's going to be tied to a rope, betalui pokekim. So then you could close it up. But if not, then you're not to pokekim bo. Chachamim say whether it is tied up or not, you're allowed to close it up. So says the Gemara. Rabbi Yochanan says, "Rabbi Yochanan says, 'Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan, at Kol Modim, everybody agrees.'" Right, she'en osin or alay betchila biyom tov. You're not allowed to make an oral alay at the beginning of yom tov. Then say chol mishvat you don't say in shabbat. No nechlaku. When is a machloket and losif to add on to it? Shabli yezer omer mosifim yom tov. Shabli yezer says you're not going to add on on yom tov, and you don't have to say it on shabbat. Chumimunim mosifim shabbat. Then say chol yom tov. So says the gemara. So it comes out that it's mefurash in the mishnah that Shabli yezer holds that even to add on on yom tov to an oil alay you're not allowed to do it. Here you are. You're making one. So it says the Gemara. Rabbi Yehuda says, "Like Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda holds like Rabbi Yehuda." Then he says, "I'm going to talk about Shabbat. I'm not going to talk about the difference is Ochel Nefesh." And Rabbi Yehuda, Matir Af Machshiri, he permits also Machshire Ochel Nefesh. So this is like Machshire Ochel Nefesh. It's preparing food. So that's why you're allowed to do it on Yom Tov. So says the Gemara. Ema Deshvin Rabbi Yehuda. When do we learn this? Only Machshirin that you couldn't have done it erev Yom Tov, but here you could have done it on erev Yom Tov. So whoever told you that that you're allowed to do it on Yom Tov itself. So says the Gemara. The Rebbe Yezer Adiv Rebbe Yehuda. Rebbe Yezer is even he holds even more light than Rebbe Yehuda. Because Rebbe Yehuda only only permits machshirei ochel nefesh that you could done at Rebbe Yom Tov. Rebbe Yezer permits even if it couldn't if it could have been done at Rebbe Yom Tov and he still permits it. Okay, two dots. Chachamim onim Chachamim say you're not allowed to hang up the mishamenet on Yom Tov. He buy lehu. So they're going to ask the following question: Talam mai? What happens if a person did hang it up? I mean, Rav Yosef says, Rav Yosef, if you hang it up, he's going to be chayav chatat. So Amal Rebbe Abay says, Ela me'ata, tala kuza besikta, rechadam what? If you're going to hold up a kli katan in a peg, you're going to put a small utensil in a peg, you're going to be chayav? Why are you going to be chayav? Ah, you did do a oil aray. So, kuvla milchayta mudalef, Ela me'ata, Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef says, mi drabanani, shelo yaseh kadar shuh, so chol, you're right, it's a yisud drabanan. Because the rabbis did not want, want you to do things like what you do during the weekday. Okay? And then let's just try to get to the two dots. It's a few lines down. Okay? So it says, Minkat Abaye Chumre Matniata. It says, Abaye took Kvutzot of Dinim of making an ohel, which are found in different brightot. The Tanyani taught Hagod, which is a sackcloth of, uh, of skins. Hameshameret and a sieve. Kila. This is talking about like the bed canopy. Okay? The Kise, a, a, a chair. Okay, that is called galim. Okay, it's like a different type of a chair. This is the kise galim. This is the sackcloth. And this is the, the galim, the, the bed, which is like, it's like a chair, which is made out of prakim, like different parts that you connect. So in all these cases, right, it says, lo yase, you're not allowed to make them on Shabbat, but if you did do them, you're going to be patur with surah, it's the keva, but if it's a fixed ohel, you're not allowed to do on Shabbat, but if you did, you're going to be chayav chatat. Aval, however, though, mita v'kiset raskal, however, though, when we're talking about a bed or kiset raskal, right, this is a kiset raskal. It's like a folding chair like that. The olden day folding chairs. So kiset raskal, the asla, which is also made like a beta kiset, right, like a washroom, yeah? So it says, that's why the, nowadays also they call the asla. Yeah? So he says, mutal in total lechatchila. You're allowed to do it lechatchila. Okay, and then we're at the two dots. So with that, we can... Thank you, Baruch. Thank you, Rav. Thank you, Rav. A pleasure. Enjoy. Have a nice day.